hello guys welcome to a new video and this video is a continuation of my previous video um, which is the juniper ospf configuration in which i configured three vsrx uh, with ospf area zero um, and you can go ahead and check that video out uh, before you start this video because in this video i configure the three vsrx that are working right now uh, and in this new video we are going to configure a vsrx with a Cisco router device. Um, they are both going to form a OSPF um, neighbor adjacency and they are going to be in area zero, which is the backbone backbone of OSPF, okay? And also go ahead and check out my Palo Alto Networks PCNC complete course on Udemy. I'm going to add a coupon on this video below. Um, so if you guys want to purchase my uh, PCNSC so you guys can support my YouTube channel um, and it has a, over 187 lectures 17 17 hours two practices and 209 questions so I'll go ahead and take a look at that I'm going to leave a coupon for a 50% discount so let's go ahead and start with this um, I'm first going to configure the Cisco router because it is um, it is going to take a lot less than the VSRX because on the VSRX, since it is a firewall, I have to allow OSPF and allow pin and allow all that good stuff. So I want to start with the Cisco router. Um, so let's go ahead and go to enable. Let's go ahead and go to config, um, config G. Then I want to go to interface. Uh, we are going to go into, if you go interface, Let's see, config, interface, gigabit, zero slash zero. Then after that, I am going to configure the IP address, which is 1 and 2 that one is 8, that 3 that 2, slash 24. So you're going to put IP address 192 that one is 8, that 3 that 2, 255 that 255 that 255 that 0, which is slash 24. Then you want to do a no shutdown to make sure that we bring that interface up. You do not need to do that for Juniper. You guys are going to see that um, after you configure it just becomes active because uh, for Cisco, you actually go ahead and configure basically the uh, physical interface, but in Juniper, you do not configure the physical interface. You have to configure a logical interface and you guys are going to um, to see that. So this is it for now. I'm just going to leave it there. Um, now we are going to go into the Juniper VSRX, which is a firewall. So let's go ahead and go to Juniper. And I am in the configuration mode already, so I'm going to configure this interface right here, um, gigabit zero slash zero slash zero, with this IP address. So if you go to set interfaces, GE zero slash zero zero, then you want to do the unit and this is where the the unit which is the logical interface so i want to configure unit zero which is logical interface zero then you want to do a family and which family you're going to use either ipv4 or ipv6 you put a six for ipv4 IP, ipv4 you do not put anything just that then you want to do address 192.168.3.1 and you do slash 24. there we go so now we have configure that interface so let's see if i'm able to pin the um cisco router so you want to do a run um since i'm in the configuration mode and i don't want to exit out of the configuration mode you want to do a run if you're doing from a cisco device there's a do command the do command so run ping 192.168.3.2 let's see what happens so we have no route um to the host as you can see right now, we are getting, um, we are unable to ping this um, this router right here, which has the this interface um, gigabit zero slash zero configure, but it is just not working. And also, like always, I forgot to commit, and that's why we are getting the no route to host. Um, so if you try to ping again, oops, I did a commit. Uh, if you want, to, if you go ahead and, and pin again. You're going to see that you don't get that uh, no route to host uh, because when I ping before the commit, uh, it means that I have not 
this 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 um this configuration that we did then i got into the running configuration it was still in the candidate configuration and therefore after we did the commit now this uh command went into the running configuration so now since it's in the running configuration you can see that we are not able to get replies from the cisco router and why are we not getting replies we're not getting replies because <laughs> juniper is not allowing it uh, this is a firewall and by default the firewall uh, rejects or denies um, all the traffic so we need to allow ping on this interface so we are able to get that um, so we are able to get the reply from the cisco router so the way they do that you want to do a set security zone security zone we are going to add it to the trust interfaces ge0 and then you want to do a host inbound traffic system services and you want to do ping then we are going to commit do not forget to commit so it because it is now in the candidate configuration then we are going to push it into the running configuration so we just push it into the running configuration uh, so that is good so now we should be able to do the ping and now we are getting a reply from the cisco router and we are getting a reply because we allow the system services ping okay so that is good and another one that we need to allow is um, ospf so if you go um let's go ahead and do the command again so you guys can see it so it's set security zones security zone interfaces g um you want to do first trust then interfaces ge zero slash zero slash zero then you want to do the host inbound you want to do then the protocol because we are actually doing a protocol not a system service a system service is a icmp like pin protocols if you do a question mark it is ospf bfd bgp dvmrp ospf v3 which is for ipv6 rip um router discovery vsvp and all of that so let's go ahead and add ospf done so now we are allowing ospf we are going to commit our changes so complete uh, so now we are allowing ospf and now since we are allowing ospf we can go ahead and configure ospf in the vsrx the way that you do that you can do a you can either do an edit um, or edit protocols ospf and in here if you do a show command you can see that we have one interface configured which we did that on the previous video if you want to go ahead if you want to go ahead and see that first go ahead and go to my uh, video uh, with the title of Juniper SPF configuration and you can see how I did that okay so now what we want to do is we want to set an area of zero with interface GE and it's actually going to be the sub interface that we configure now if you do a show command you can see that we have now have two interfaces in area zero we have the that two the slash two dot zero which is this one and now we have the slash zero dot zero which is this one right here with the cisco router so you want to go ahead and commit good and if you do a run show spf neighbor you're going to see that we only have one neighbor right now which is this vsrx right now but after i configure ospf on the cisco router we are going to see two neighbors so let's go ahead and go into that cisco router and let's go ahead and configure ospf guys um, so the way that you configure spf you from the cisco router you do router ospf then you do the area uh, then you do the id you can do whatever id you want uh, let's just go ahead and say one um, after that you want to do network and you want to enter the network that you want to add that three that zero 255.255.255.0 and then you want to add it to area zero and that should um, form a neighbor adjacency with the vxrx so let's go ahead and it, I, I don't know how long it takes uh it takes like 10 seconds there we go so now you can see that we have a neighbor adjacency and um, process like the process is one the nbr is 192 that one is eight and uh, the two that one which is this one right here um uh, which is the neighbor the gigabit interface or the interface where it came from it came from gigabit zero slash zero and it is loading to full so it is now um good and it is up and running so if now we go to the vsx and we do a show um ospf neighbor you can see now that we have 
two neighbors. We have this one, which is the Cisco router, and it is coming out of Gigabit interface um, zero slash um, zero slash zero dot zero. The state is full. You can see the ID of the neighbor. You can see also the priority. Priority is one, and the dead. Uh, it is how long it's going to take before this neighbor agency um, dies, right? It, it, and it is in seconds. Uh, so we are looking good. We have formed that neighbor relationship. Now, if you go into the Cisco router, let's go ahead and end it and do show show IP or SPF neighbor. You can see that we have one neighbor. You can see the priority. You can see the state. It is full. It is a designated um, router. You can see the dead time, 33 seconds. You can see the address of the neighbor. You can see which interface it is configured in or which interface OSPF is coming in with this neighbor um, ID and neighbor uh, relationship. So as you can see, it is looking good right now. And we have formed that neighbor uh, relationship. Now if we do from the router show IP um, router, or show IP routes OSPF, you can see all the ne the ne networks that we have learned. We learned this network, which is the 172.16.1.0, and that one is this one right here. We have also learned the, that two, the 172.16.2.0, which is this one over here. We have learned the 192.168.1.0, which is this one, and that 2.0, which is this one right here. So we should be able now to ping from the Cisco router. We should be able to ping this Docker uh, image right here, which is a Linux machine. So if we do a ping 172.16.2.2, I should be able to ping. Great. And I should also be able to ping um, that to that or uh, that one that two, which is this one right here. And that is I'm able to ping everywhere. And also if we go into these VXRX right here um, let's go ahead and do let's see if I remember it is a run show um, show route let's do a question mark show route or SPF show show route protocol or SPF you should see that the routes um, to the OSPF um, we have routes to this site, this side, this side, and this also site. And this one is the multicast IP address where OSPF, um, where they all communicate. Um, so this one is for that one. So if you also go to this VSRX, uh, we need to log in because I haven't logged into this one. Then you want to go into the CLI. And from here, you can do the show um, routes protocol OSPF. And you can see other routes. And you can see that the route to the Cisco router is there. And if I do a ping, if I spell it correctly, ping 192.8.3.2, which is the Cisco router's IP address, this one right here, I should be able to ping that router. And there you go. I'm able to ping that router. So that's how you are able to configure um, OSVF between a Cisco VSRX, which is the firewall, and a Cisco router. So this is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you guys enjoyed this video why don't you guys go ahead and follow me on twitter at ccna daily tips if you have a twitter account and if you don't have a twitter account go ahead and create a twitter account and then follow me on twitter at ccna daily tips also don't forget to um get my palo alto networks pcnc complete course i'm going to leave a link in the description below so you guys can get that um course so thank you guys for watching and i will see you on the next one Bye bye